goddamn video on my goddamn YouTube channel, people. So, the program has been goddamn rearranged and changed. We have a new program, like I told you guys, will be coming. So, today will be the first leg day of that program. This is the first uh, day, quad day. Um, probably because of fatigue, I'm going to start changing up my rest days and having the actual one on a weekday. So, it's going to be a six day plan, but on Mondays, I'll end with back sometimes. We'll start, start the week with a back day. Anyway. That doesn't matter too much. What does matter is getting to the goddamn gym. It's getting kind of late and I've just been quite slow today, to be fair. So, you know what we need to do? We need to pattern up and get the shit cracking up. You feels me? So, with that being said, I see you in the next goddamn clip, people. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So, no clue how well you can hear me in here. Find out today. But if this sounds clear, then... I'll talk in the gym more. Anyway, so starting off with calf raises, I meant to be squeezing at the top with a slow range of motion, which already I hate, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just get to it, man. Fuck it. Now we moved on to the hamstring car, the standing hamstring car. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm pointing to it. You'll see when I do it. But one thing I'll give you advice for, and I'll say, when you're doing this movement, try to squeeze your glutes the entire time. That way you get more activation in your hamstring and you don't swing it. Uh, your glutes will be stabilizing you. and not swinging the weight rather than you know some people they get onto the weight and they just start swinging their leg don't do that try and keep your your glutes as tight as possible anyway move on to the next side i'm already tired left and hat squats typically I would have gone up because that last set was hard but not too hard but if it's the first block of this workout what I prefer to do with my first session of any workout when I'm tr trying out a plan I don't go too crazy on like any one movement just so I can kind of gauge where I am so now I know that I'm you know at least three plates is my top set and then from then on, I try to build from that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you can do four plates on your first day, then do it. But if you can do four plates on your first day and you're gonna be fucked afterwards, don't. Because you'll be able to work up past that eventually. Past it, but obviously I won't because I'll just be getting weaker as prep is getting deeper in. But, you know, you would if you're not on prep and you're doing the program, whatever program. Yo, what's popping people? Just gonna run down the plan cause I thought, let me give you guys some extra value. So this is how the plan is being run down. We're still running on the legs push pull split with 
quad dominant legs on Monday and Thursday being hamstring dominant legs. But, well, I should say the second leg day being hamstring dominant because it doesn't matter what day I'm training now. It's just in the rotation. So like, for example, um, I'm taking an extra rest day, like I said earlier, taking a rest day during the week. So it pushes whatever, you know, it just pushes me back a day. So I think like, for example, Monday, I'm going to be on back. And I think the next Monday, I'll probably be starting on push. Anyway, um, here's how it's going to break down. So legs, quads, it's going to start with seated calf races, slow raise and squeeze at the top. Standard leg curl, standing leg curl, 15 sets on each leg. Hack squat, 15, 12, 10. 10. This time it's just regular hat squat, just straight up and down. Before I had continuous, now I can at least get, you know, some breaths in and stuff like that because I was dying last time. Not going to cap. V squat, 12, 15, sorry, 15, 12, 10, 10. Na uh, leg press, narrow feet, so 20, 20, 15, 12. And then leg extensions, we're doing 30 reps, 25 reps, 20 reps, 20 reps. You know how my leg days be, they be stupid with the leg extensions for whatever reason. So, boom. Then chest focused, push day. We've got mid inclines, uh, chest press on the switch machine. Then we move on to flat pin press uh, machine. Um... Oh yeah, sorry, rep range on the Smith machine is 15, 12, 10, and 8. And the pin load is exactly the same. Cable flies prone laying down if possible, but if not, I'll just do it uh, like leaning forward. Um, anyway, four sets till failure. Dips, four sets weighted till failure. Um, push, shoulder, um, shoulder press on the pin loaded uh, prime machine. We're doing 20, 15, 15, then 12 reps. Then side lateral on the prime lateral raise machine, 20 reps each side, uh, each side, 20 reps each set. Then overhead tricep dumbbell press, but I'm probably gonna switch that to the prime uh, or, the, or the stride uh, tricep extension. Well, my energy is flipping low. Four weeks up, baby. Anyway, pull. Pull-ups, four sets, each set to failure, weighted if possible. Lat pull-down, 20, 15, 15, 12. T-bar rows, 20, 15, 15, 12. Underarm barbell rows, 15, 12, tw 10, and uh, 8. Seated low row neutral grip, 20, 15, 15. Rare, deck, rare delt pec deck flies, 20, 20, 20. And rope face pulls 2020 20 again. 2020 20. Yeah. Then hamstrings, day four. Standing calf races, 2020 20, 15 12. Laying leg curl, 2020 20, 15 12. Straight leg deadlift barbells, 15 12 10 10. Laying leg press, 20 15 15 12. Sumo belt squat, 15, 15, 15, 12. Leg press high and wide, uh, 25, 20, 15, 15. Then lunges in and out of, uh, look, reverse lunges, 30 reps each leg. 30 legs each rep, 30 legs, 30 reps each leg, 26 reps, 20, 20. That shit is hell. I ain't got a cap. Anyway, then we're going to go on to the last push day, uh, which is Smith Machine Shoulder Press, 15, uh, 12, 12, 10, 8. High incline Smith Machine, so from the shoulder press to the high incline, 15, 12, 10, 10. Flat dumbbell presses, 15, 15, 12. Arnold Press 20, 15, 15. Seated lateral raises with the dumbbell 20, 20, 15, 15. Front raises, hammer grip, no swinging, no momentum. 20, 15, 15. Then an easy bar upright roll on the curl, sorry, on the cable. 20, 20, 15, 15. My last pull day is single leg calf race. <sighs> Three sets of 15. Smith Machine Dead Stop Rows, 15, 12, 10, 10. Plate Loaded Single Arm Row, 15, 15, 15. Prone Incline Row Machine Slash Dumbbell, so 
probably is the prime machine 20 15 15 12 underarm lap pull down plate loaded machine 20 15 15 12 cable lap pullovers using the v grip push down handle five sets till failure then rack pulls to finish off 10 8 5 3 so loads of volume as per usual so i'm not you know i'm not foreign to seeing this much volume in my programs but yeah this is just the mad thing the movements luckily for me apart from the straight leg deadlifts aren't very taxing on my lower back so at least it gives me that much uh room to breathe but you know fatigue is fatigue and getting through these workouts at this point isn't necessarily easy but it is what it is we're getting quite lean so that's just the name of the game you know you're not going to be sitting here uh you know whatever body fat percentage you are you know you're not going to be sitting here lean and just enjoying your workouts because you've got hella energy that like, is just not how it is you know but it is what it is we've got a goal we've got a statement to goddamn make you know what i'm saying we got down grinding and shouts out to every single one of you that pays attention to every one of my videos likes it subscribes and that comments to all the comments bro if you comment on all my videos i know who you are i see you shouts out to you bro people remember to like this video and comment on this video and subscribe all that good shit hopefully you can if you don't i'm gonna put my whole program in the in the bio if you want to you know i mean copy it good luck hopefully this video gives you some value i'll see you in the next goddamn one peace <laughs>